Hello, my dear friends. I am Francisco Pedraza, and uh, today I'm going to explain to you how is the incident's time track. How does the incident goes along through the time? Okay, it's got an incident. An incident is a uh, like a crime theft or something like that. But an accident is something that is just because you you weren't paying attention to some factors that could be threats. That's why we call it a threat. It's not a criminal. It's not. It's not a a bandit. It's a threat. Something that is uh, capable of harming me, such as a fire, like an earthquake. That's why um, threat. We have select victim when it is a, a criminal. When it, it is searching a victim to select, you know. But when it is a like a natural disaster is not selective it just takes anyone <clears throat> in its way so you need to be as the threat actually develops and select makes a selection you could be naive not paying attention not not considering any risks in in your day-to-day -day life or you could be preventive as you are considering your your uh, current risks, I mean, depending what are, what, what are your activities in, in your daily life, then after the threat, the criminal in this case, selects a victim, it starts the attack. The attack. How does it start? The, the criminal or the, the potential threat, it's starting to gather information to see how it's going to make you vulnerable to the attack. So before it attacks, it makes a, a, a study. Unless it's some hungry, homeless people around, that's going to be, I mean, this, this study that he makes is going to be very quick on how are you dressed and what things are you showing off, because that's going to be distracted. If you go out in the streets and speaking your cell phone out, like showing everyone that you are talking to someone else, then someone in a bike is going to take your phone and run away. So you cannot be distracted in public places when you know there's a threat. That's why you need to be preventive. Where are you uh, performing or working or uh, acting or maybe transiting? You need to be preventive on the factors. Maybe is it at night? Because the darkness is, is shown that uh, it promotes the, the acting of criminals because they, they think nobody is seeing them. Because when it's dark, it's easier for them to hide and to not be identified. So after the threat makes the start of the attack of the of the attack then it attacks there comes a moment that it actually shows you that he wants something from you or he's going to do something to you then if you're naive and you were distracted at the moment then you're going to be in shock you're going to be paralyzed and you're going to comply to anything he says and you're going to be finally a victim. This is the path to be a victim at the end. Because this is the path of the threat. It selects a victim, it starts the attack, then it attacks, then it fails or it succeeds. We want him to fail. So we want to return to normal. And what is the path to do that? To be preventive, to be prepared, when you are prepared, you can react properly without making yourself at risk or without uh, making guesses on the reaction against a threat. Then you can re uh, return to normal. Let's focus that the, the objective of security is to keep normal, to stay in our day-to-day -day lives and go normally to our jobs and come back normally to our families 
and go go to sleep normally and then wake up normally that's what we want but then when a threat actually comes into our lives we need to actually react or be in shock and see what what actually happens and rely on the police or the firemen or rely on someone else but then when i am prepared then i can react i can uh, get rich to any tools or uh, my, my machinery that may, I may be using to return to normal, to neutralize this th threat. I want to neutralize it. I want, I want it to not be able to harm me. That's why I start preventing and preparing. If this threat is capable of seeing that I am prepared, is going to go and select someone else because he knows I am prepared. I have maybe weapons or uh, maybe I have bodyguards. I have uh, security systems that I rely on. If he actually detects that, he's going to select someone else. So that's why I, I need to, to be preventive, to analyze the risks I may be exposed to. I need to prepare the tools I mean, I need to get the tools and learn how to use them properly so I can use maybe like a, a, um, an extinguisher, a fire extinguisher. You can actually learn how to do it, how to use it to extinguish fire. If you don't know how to use it, then it's going to be maybe more time to, to react. It's going to take more time. It's going to be less effective then it's going to make the threat more strong. I mean, it's going to get, the, in, in the case of a fire, it's going to get stronger, it's going to get bigger, and maybe it's going to get out of hand and it's not going to be able to extinguish it with a, a fire extinguisher. So it's, it's, you need to prevent, preview what are you exposed to and what's the, the proper preparation that you need and then the proper reaction you need to prepare to, to you need to exercise you need to train to make training if you might be a victim of a in the streets robbery then do you know self-defense do you know how to react in that situation do you know how to react when there is a weapon a firearm or a knife is different. It's, the reaction is different. The preparation is different. That's why you need to look out for what are you exposed to and then organize your security systems and see what security systems are around, like in a, in a shopping mall, you have security guards that's a security system that is active in that place and you can use it if you actually need to if you get something stolen you can actually see where the cameras are and you can maybe maybe react using the tools of that security system that's why you need to understand security systems and and have an own security system that's why I am publishing all these videos because security is something that you don't want to share with someone else. If you want to share your financial status or your details on accountancy and or on your assets and stuff, because that's a risk. Any asset that you actually possess is a risk because someone could actually get it and sell it and make some profit from it so you need to actually prevent what are your risks what do you need to protect primarily yourself that's why you need to see what are your tasks your activities do you have heavy machinery or do you do you have only a computer and desk because the risks are different so that's why you need to be preventive to get prepared react properly and keep on normal you're, you're not gonna get a profit from this 
you're just going to be safe and secure and you're going to be more more useful i mean you're going to be normal to make your job and i mean share with your family and you're going to have a normal life when because you need to be prepared for something that you're not you have not in the plan something that you're not expecting to happen but is bad like i don't know maybe losing your keys do you have a reaction plan when you lose your keys and that's something kind of normal maybe you have an uh, on a in a wrong drawer or maybe you just let it slip from your from your pocket in the in the couch or maybe you just lost them somewhere do you know how to react do you know who to call do you need to change the guards of your home key because that's going to be a risk you don't know who has to hold the, of that key so that reaction you need to have the number of someone that makes keys and changes guards of, of the of the guards and and then you can keep on the normal but then usually when we learn that uh keys losing procedure when we're kids well i did when i was a kid when my father gave me keys i, I did learn because he made me pay for all the the corrections the, the changing guards and making three copies of the keys for my father my mother and me i mean that was a cost and my father made me pay for it so i actually saw the the cost of losing the keys so right now i am more conscious if you see i have a, a nylon rope to my keys so i don't lose them anywhere so you you actually make a preventive thinking process you analyze what's the risk then how are going to how are going how are you going to prepare to encounter that risk because there might be a a, a time that you are, you're going to have to encounter it unless you have some other um helping like in fire fires like in a fire accident you're going to have to rely on fire and firemen because they are going to actually have the tools they are prepared to actually encounter bigger fires than you are i mean you do have some capabilities on your uh, installation on the building you you must have some extinguishers and some um brigades but then you have you're going to have to be prepared to communicate the risk the the incident and then rely on their capabilities and their preparation so that the reaction could be to run and advise someone and communicate to someone to make the reaction or i could react myself because there are times that you are just yourself and you can rely on no one else. Okay, if you have any questions on this, you can actually see all the videos I have uploaded already. Or you can actually write up to this email. It is contacto at andros.es. You can make any question if you want. I can guide you through any process of building your physical security systems or any other procedures that you want. So um, feel free to actually make any questions or, or any requirements that you have. Okay, thank you very much. I'll talk to you and I, I suggest you see all my videos.